Hala, it's raining again. Too bad that I didn't watch the weather forecast today. I should go home and do our task given by Sir Joel. Good day, class. How are you feeling today? Do you have any idea what disaster risk is? If not, then this video will surely help you. Today, we are going to talk about the relationship of hazard, exposure, and vulnerabilities to disaster risk. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to explain the relationship of hazard, exposure, and vulnerabilities to disaster risk. Second, enumerate the elements of disaster risk. Third, recognize the importance of understanding and communicating disaster risk. To better understand their relationship, let us discuss what disaster risk is. Disaster risk is equals to hazard times exposure and times vulnerability. Disaster risk is the potential loss of life, injury, or destroyed assets. Hazard is a phenomenon or situation that has the potential to cause harm or loss. Exposure refers to people and properties that may be affected by the disaster. Vulnerability refers to the factors that increase the susceptibility to the impact of the hazard. Now, let us use Typhoon as an example of a disaster. And to further explain the disaster, let us talk about the hazard. The disaster will be increased if the typhoon or the hazard is stronger. Just like the typhoon Yolanda way back 2013. Because it is a super typhoon and one of the most powerful tropical cyclones ever recorded, the loss of life and properties are high as expected and it becomes higher because of the exposure if there are more people or properties in that area. Then you will expect a higher magnitude of disaster risk. So now let us move on to the three elements of a disaster risk, mainly hazard, exposure, and vulnerabilities. A hazard is a potential source of harm or adverse effects. For example, a hurricane is a hazard because it has the potential to cause damage to buildings, infrastructure, and pose risk to human life. Exposure refers to the state of being subjected to a hazard. In the context of a hurricane, people, buildings, and communities in the path of the hurricane are exposed to its destructive forces. Vulnerability is the degree of susceptibility to the adverse effects of a hazard. For instance, a coastal community with a poorly constructed buildings and inadequate evacuation plans may be more vulnerable to the impacts of a hurricane compared to a well-prepared community with sturdy structures and effective disaster response strategies. And now, we will be talking about the difference between hazard and risk. What is hazard? A hazard is anything or situation that has the potential to cause harm to people, property, or environment. Example, a spilled water on the floor is a hazard. And now, what is a risk? A risk is the chance or probability of getting harmed by the hazard. Example, getting sleep on the spilled water on the floor is the risk. And now, estimating disaster risk. And now for disaster risk, in this figure, there are four things that are under disaster risk. First is hazard. Under hazard is severity, which refers to the potential impact or sequence of the hazard, such as injury, damage, or loss. Probability refers to the likelihood or frequency of the hazard occurring. Next is exposure. Exposure defined as the situation of people, infrastructure, housing, production capacities, and other tangible human assets located in hazard-prone areas, which include the structures, buildings, and establishments. The next is vulnerability. It's the inability to resist a hazard or to respond when a ha disaster has occurred. Under vulnerability is physical vulnerability, social vulnerability, economic vulnerability, and environmental vulnerability. The last is capacity and measures. The combination of all the strengths, attributes, and resources available within an organization, community, or society to manage and reduce disaster risk and strengthen resilience, under which is physical planning, social capacity, economic capacity, and management. 
Now, let's move on to this diagram. This diagram shows how disaster risks develop. Thus, we say that the risk of losing lives of people and losing property due to the hazard increases as the level of exposure and vulnerability. It refers to the expected value of deaths, injuries, and property losses that may be caused by a hazard. This disaster risk is the result of hazard, exposure, and vulnerability. It does not only show the expectation of the disaster happening, but also give us the idea on how severe the impact would be not only people but all the elements exposed. A simple scenario is during a pandemic, even if there is a virus, which is the hazard, if the people stay at home, zero exposure, which is the stay at home, and remain healthy, which is the vulnerability, there is no chance of acquiring the virus, which is the disaster risk.